Hi everyone, this is Steve from Score Art Glass. This is part two of the Cardinal Project where we're going to cut, grind, solder, and patina the glass project. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get into cutting. Um, one thing that uh, should have is safety glasses. Um, that way no shards uh, from breaking or anything else uh, get up into your eyes. Um, something that you may think about investigating. Some people use uh, gloves, some don't. Um, I do for the fact that I used to get shards up in my fingers and stuff from breaking and being new, not as experienced as the ones who have been doing this for 10, 20 years. Um, I get cut, so um, to help eliminate that or mitigate that, I use gloves. First thing, we'll start cutting, and uh, this is the texture side. Remember, I uh, put it face down so that way when we actually place these pieces, we're still getting that same texture uh, through the piece. Uh, based off of the placement of that. So it kind of, it's a continuous and consistent pattern through the piece. Um, but because it's textured on one side, I had to place it face down so that way I could cut on the smooth side. Uh, there's always a smooth side with this textured glass. Um, I get to use my new Toyo cutters on these. So I'm excited about that. Um, the little video on uh, getting these new cutters and said I'd be using it in my next uh, project so here it is I'm using them and getting to try them out for the first time so um, I'm excited about it so um, I did put some oil in these uh, small amount but I also sometimes put a sponge with some oil on it um, until this really gets lubricated inside and it really lets it out. That wick soaks up the uh, oil. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna dip it and just kind of make sure I've got oil on there as I'm making these cuts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and score these and, and get going. Oh wow, that cut really clean compared to what I'm used to with uh, this old cutter. Um, wow, that's nice. That is really nice. I'll tell you this gives you a lot of control over your cut I think I've had a longer cut 
I'll prefer this. Um, but if I have these little bitty cuts, I think I'll prefer this. So, all right, we'll do this little bitty piece. Okay, so this is a little bit thicker glass. Uh, this black clear is. So it's cutting through it pretty good. So better than I had before. And it's really cutting it clean down. Normally I'll get some jaggedness out of it. But, um, because this is so thin, as far as the uh, width of the piece in here, I'm actually gonna grind this out. Um, I don't wanna take any chances of making a crack across. So I'm gonna grind that out. <clears throat> here I'm gonna I waste. See, that's how critical it is to ensure you got good scores. And because it was so thin across, it just busted right off. So I'll have to redo this one. Yes, and what I should have done is I should have utilized these. Um, to support it when I made that break and it probably would have came off better. I guess so it'll break off better.
Cutting's done, now on the grinding. install this specialty bit onto the grinder this is the bit we talked about earlier that will allow us to make the special grind that we need on the three pieces um, that were had real small uh, areas that we didn't want to crack open so we'll go ahead and start making those grinds now So we got three that we got to make that cut on. So I'm going to do the first one here. Good. have another what they call a ring bit I believe and if you got some really just a slit type thing you need to do just to get some detail you can use this as well 
Um, and then if you have um, some thick textured glass, um, you can utilize this and this actually gets it down pretty decent to the size of a, uh, of a normal piece of glass. So when you foil it, um, it takes that extra uh, glass off to give you an even surface to foil to. I've only used this once, um, but you know, it seems to work pretty good the one time I used it and it did make the foiling a little bit easier. So, so I'll show you real quick. Um, I just, as soon as I got done grinding with them, then I would stick them in water and that's what takes the glue off, um, some warm water. Um, so I'll be able to pull those off and then uh, dry fit them over here. All right, so that's the dry fit. Uh, once we get copper foil on, it'll take, so it'll probably expand just a little bit, which is okay. Um, you know, it's approximation if it goes up. Now, if you were fitting something into a particular frame or a pre-cut frame or something like that, then yeah, you'd have to be a lot more exact. But because this is a sun catcher, um, it may expand just a little bit more, which is okay. Um, but that's the dry fit. Uh, now we'll, next we'll do the copper foil and then we'll solder her up. I actually have a little foiler uh, assist piece that uh, actually uh, I've been trying out lately and it actually has worked pretty good. Um, I've kind of really enjoyed it and uh, been a hand saver for me. Um, It actually does save a little bit of time. Now we're ready to solder. I've got it all pinned down and then I'll be able to do my tacking and then we will speed the video up and start soldering. All right, um, here I'm cutting out the small pieces where I can allow more glass to be shown through. So you just take a razor knife and cut them the uh, foil away to expose the uh, glass. Uh, you can do this for small pieces and then uh, once this is all done and then we'll get back to soldering.
Sorry about that. Uh, I got a little excited before turning on the camera and started patinaing with that, everybody. Um, so just make sure you wash everything thoroughly before you patina your solder lines. Um, as you can see, the uh, tinned wire that I used in the wing and on the beak is turning black. Then you can flip everything over and patina the other side. I'll go ahead and speed up. Uh, through the rest of this. Right, that is the patina. I added a chain and now we will polish it. Uh, I use car wax for mine uh, to get it nice and shiny. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it and doing this project. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that way you get notified of all future content.